So, went to mix for Origins to see Dr. Rubenstein and Roy Perez play back to back, which is fucking sick. From they, I think they started at twelve. The annoying thing about that night, I think, I think everything else was perfect. And the one annoying thing I think criticism might have is that it seems as if most London nightclubs are very hesitant. Or even club nights or promotes very hesitant to release the the uh, the set times ahead of time. They don't want to do that, and I think the main reason they do that is because they are worried that people are only going to turn up for the DJ that they want to see, right? But the issue I have with that is that if you're if you're Origins and you hired or you've booked Dr. Rubenstein and Roy Pires because you know they want some of the you know two of the best DJs that we have um, on the scene at the moment, you want them to play at your club night because you know they're going to bring a crowd. So it doesn't make any sense for you to get them to come down and then not release the set times for the people that want to see them specifically. And even for the people that don't want to see them specifically and just want to have a good night out, they're going to come anyway. Um, I don't think you're going to get any more new people there. Who, if I don't think you're going to dissuade anyone by putting out a, tr- a set list, for instance. It doesn't make sense. I think, if anything, maybe the rain might affect people, the weather. I think you might have seen that happen on Friday with the, the night they had at, uh, at the cause. Um, the kind of the whole, the thing, the the two day event that happened the other day with Apollina and a few other people. Uh, I think the rain kind of fucked up a few a few people's evenings, so people didn't end up coming out. But for the most part, if you're gonna go to this club night, you're gonna go regardless. It would be nice to have like an idea on what the set times are. Luckily, I kind of guessed that they were gonna do a long extended set because I saw Dr. Rubenstein tweeted the other day or put on Instagram actually, which is insane. She uh she said she um she DJ I think in Berlin, in the Bergheim for eleven hours. Which is absolutely insane. Imagine DJing somewhere for eleven fucking hours. So I kind of had an idea that they were they weren't going to play like a two hour set. They're definitely going to play a bit longer. But I really wish Origins would have put the club the night uh, the time the um, the set list out or the yeah out a bit earlier. Um, a few people asked on the event wall, but their questions got ignored, which is quite annoying when you're. That's a that's a kind of a one of those things that I kind of give a lot of credit to. Gary Vaynerchuk about where he mentioned I think in quite a of his earlier videos how he would always tell people like you have to have to reply you have to reply to um you have to reply to every comment that you get on your social media platform and I think that's something I've kind of done quite religiously um for the most part just re- letting reply because you know how much and how how it hurts or how annoying it can be when you ask a question at, on an event or you inquire about something and they completely ignore the thing that you, that you that you're asking about because it, because they don't want to tell you you'd rather they just say hey we're not going to release the set times at the moment but if you came early we promise i don't know we'll just give you a hint about something they don't even answer it so someone asked in the event wall they completely ignore the question which is annoying but you know i kind of guessed they were going to be there for um four hours anyway um just because i saw like i said i think i saw his post on her site there, there we go i saw his post on her uh facebook page and it mentioned that she played yeah it said here she mentioned she made a 11 hour set at the burger so here dr ruben sciences on on um on facebook page after 11 after 11 hours in the dj booth i'm very happy and very done much love to all the dancers you were a heart, heart heart emoji i literally almost cried at the end of my set wow man absolutely amazing imagine playing for 11 hours that must be so magical man like credit to her i play a lot every night for four hours and a half right and I really, really enjoy it. I think it's probably one of the things I've kind of enjoyed for a, the longest time. Oh, yeah, here it is, isn't it? Like 11 hours set. Yeah, the, the, the set list at Bergheim. So, yeah, so they always have that running order at Bergheim. They always release it ahead of time. They have, like, set lists for months and months and months in advance. So of course, it's the Bergheim. They probably have a little bit more room to maneuver. People are going to go there for the club anyway in general, I know. But I really would like a change in kind of... Um, I don't know clubbing etiquette when it comes to promoters just put out the set list ahead of time we're going to come regardless we bought our tickets like I had this in my mind for a long time since I saw her kind of uh set on YouTube and I kind of was following a few of her interviews and I kind of liked the way she's talked about things I kind of was going to see them play regardless anyway so you're not going to dissuade me by putting out a set list and you're probably not going to get that many people coming anyway because they saw a set list they're going to just come regardless if they want to come so that was a bit of a bummer but essentially when i got there they started just about time um i decided to kind of make my way towards the dance floor because that's where all the people go that are fucking serious about clubbing you don't go and just fucking you know i don't know hang around or stand at the edge or get a drink first you go to the fucking dance floor and you check the temperature where the dance floor check the temperature everyone dancing everyone throwing their hands in the air like 
fucking great tunes for the for the very beginning. I when I got there, so I had to go upstairs, put my my bag in the my sorry my coat in the cloakroom. Pretty simple to do. I think the first couple of times I went there, I don't think they had a cloakroom. I'm pretty sure they didn't have a cloakroom. The one time I went there before for Pussy Palace, they didn't have one, so I had to kind of attach my coat in the corner, which wasn't advantageous, you no, know, because you might get nicked. So I put my bag um, upstairs. Gave the cloakroom lady a little tip as on top of it, which is I always do. I think most people should do that, especially considering the job and how annoying people are when they get in the coats at the end. And so I had to go back downstairs and party and dance my ass off for the best part of four hours. Basically, I didn't leave the dance floor apart from going to the toilet a few couple a couple of times or from getting a drink. I was on the dance floor the whole entire time, dancing, sweating my ass off. Like absolutely had a blast. Um, so much so uh, I had so much of a blast that. Um, that yeah that you know just had a blast met some interesting people on the dance floor exchanges some you know some facebook details as per usual and it, and ended up at the end of the set when i had a good time got a picture with the djs themselves which i'm i'm gonna sh- i should put on the screen but i don't know it's good not to do it but i'll show my phone even though it's cracked there it is me with dr rubenstein and roy Perez playing back to back fucking amazing man i think that they're really close friends anyway you can tell from the set i think there's a big difference you can probably tell it i think if you've been out a few times with these as play you can tell when they're friendly with each other or they respect each other's work um how much better how better the back-to-back set goes when they're just you know um, for a foreign to each other, and the promoter kind of books them to play back to back. I think it's better when they have a, a connection or a relationship, or they have a similar sound or something. I don't know, something complementing to each other. But when they're friends, you can really tell. And um, yeah, it was an amazing set, man. Probably one of the best things I've seen in a long time. I kind of bemoan the idea that you have to kind of always book stuff in advance when you go to London, and there's so many events on, and um, some of the club nights don't go on for long enough. But I think. In terms of what we have available, it's not Bergheim. It's not going to be open until 6. It's not going to be open until 12. But for what's available, I think Mix, especially since it's only around the corner of my house, it's like a 10, 15 minute walk. Um, it's in a fairly cool location. The bar staff are really cool. The people that work there are really cool from the front, from the door girl to security, um, to everyone there. The sound is amazing. I think for what it's worth, it's probably one of the best venues out there. And I really, really encourage everyone to kind of check it out. I think this Friday, they've got Pussy Palace um, doing a party there, which is probably one of the best nights out at the moment. I think, to be honest, if you like, if you like work it vibes, but you like it a bit real, a little bit more uh, with an LGBTQ tint towards it a little bit more drag involved a little bit more club kitty involved a little bit more uh, showmanship a little bit more of um of a of a just a celebration right i think you should go to pussy palace it's fucking incredible one of the best parties i've been to i went to the original pussy palace was actually in that pussy palace house place that was cool but now they've sort of leveled up and honestly like it's so it's probably the rabbits i've ever seen that place in my life like it's incredible the last couple of times i went there was a couple of drag queens performing um they had like a runway stage that they put out there it was fucking nuts like absolutely nuts and mix and mix obviously is a good place to do it in because it's it's like a basic an industrial warehouse sort of like stock room kind of place so it kind of the contrast of having these amazing sort of like done up performers with their makeup on and their stilettos and their lycra on um against a backdrop of these kind of massive beer kegs and shit it's fucking gnarly and it's so cool so i recommend you check it out um uh, there's a couple of people that i know that are playing on the lineup too so if you're into if you're into the, you know the general hip hop R and B sort of vibe, I recommend you check out Pussy Palace, one of the best nights they do out there. But yeah, um, big up Origins uh, for doing that night. Um, that was incredible. Uh, big up Dr. Rubenstein and Roy Perez as well. You guys smashed it. Um, incredible, incredible performance, and I can't wait to see them again live again. So I recommend you check both of them out, Dr. Rubenstein and Roy Perez. I'll 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 figure for a link actually to a set that I like of both of theirs, and you can kind of check them out. But I recommend you check them for the longest. <laughs> 